Hello, Music Theory for Students. Welcome to this new format. Today we're going to talk about modes. And that's the subject of the next chapter that we are in, chapter 26, which in your textbook begins on page 463. The, di the diatonic modes, which is discussed beginning on page 464, is the highlight of what this video is going to be about sometimes referred to as the ecclesiastical modes or the medieval modes. So why medieval? Because they were used during the medieval era as well as most of the Renaissance era in music. And what are these modes? Well, they're scales that are a little bit different than our standard major and minor scales for today. For instance, if you look on page 465 of your text, example 26.2, the very first scale listed there is called the Ionian scale. That sounds just like a C major scale. And in fact, yes, the Ionian mode and the major scale are the same. So if I play a major scale starting on any note, I could call it the Ionian mode. The next mode given for us there, number two, is the Dorian. The Dorian is like a major scale, but starting on the second scale degree, going up an octave higher. Just by playing on the white keys, D to D, I get. And that sounds similar to a minor scale. And in fact, the tonic triad of that scale, which would be D, F, A, is a minor triad. So it sounds very close to our natural minor scale. The next mode discussed is the Phrygian, which here begins on E, so it's like a major scale starting on the third scale degree, going up to the next third scale degree of that scale. It sounds similar to a minor scale as well, and that's because its tonic triad, which would be the E, G, and B, is a minor triad. The next mode, the Lydian, is like a major scale, but starting on scale degree four. And it sounds pretty close to a major scale. It's tonic triad, FAC, it's a major triad. Going on to the next mode, the Mixolydian, it's like starting on scale degree five of a major scale. Sounds similar to a major scale, and it's tonic triad, G, B, D is a major triad, okay. Number six, the Aeolian. Ah, oh, that's the same as a natural minor. So, if I play a natural minor scale, any natural minor, it is the Aeolian mode as well. So they are identical, just like the major scale and the Ionian mode are the same thing. Now the last one, this particular mode was never used during the medieval and renaissance eras. Why is that? Well, let's see if we can figure it out. Let me play it. It's like starting on the seventh scale degree of a major scale and playing up to the next seventh scale degree. Hmm. Tonic triad. Oh, B, D, F. That's a diminished triad. Not a very restful tonic triad. And from scale degree 1 to 5, which is normally a perfect fifth apart, it's a diminished fifth. No, it wasn't used during the medieval and renaissance eras, but it was used on rare occasion in the 20th and 21st centuries. And it's used occasionally even in jazz, but not very often. So there we have our seven diatonic modes, or ecclesiastical modes, or medieval modes. So that's one way to learn them. It's like starting on various scale degrees of a major scale for the various modes. That's one way to memorize the modes. Another way, which is briefly discussed on page 465 of the last paragraph, is to liken each of these modes to a major or minor scale, but with one alteration. Now for the Ionian and Aeolian, they are identical to our major and natural minor scales. But the Dorian sounds close to a natural minor. 
that let's say in D minor there should be a B flat. But here it's a B natural. So the Dorian is like a natural minor scale but with a raised sixth scale degree. brighter sound to that minor scale. Okay, next we have the Phrygian. Well, let's see. Yeah, that's like a natural minor scale, but wait a minute, E minor should have an F sharp in it. But this has an F natural. Okay, so the Phrygian is just like a natural minor scale but with a lowered second scale degree. Okay. So it starts with just a half step. That's one of its most distinguished features. Okay, the Lydian. Let's see, F major should have a B flat in it. This is a B natural. So the Lydian is just like a major scale, but with a raised fourth scale degree. Okay. The Mixolydian. That's just like a major scale, but with a lowered seventh scale degree. So the five chord in the Mixolydian scale is a minor triad. Aeolian, same as a natural minor. The Logram is the odd one here. It can be likened to a natural minor scale, but with two alterations. If you're thinking B minor, it should have a C sharp and F sharp in there, but here it's a C natural and F natural. So the Logram we could liken to a natural minor scale, but with a lowered second. Those are our modes. So, your assignment then is to do in the workbook pages 269, 270. You have some accidentals to put in to create the requested modes there. And on page 270, part C, fill in the blank. You might have a question on part C regarding what a tetrachord is. That term is used in um, one of the sentences. So a tetrachord is half of a scale. A tetrachord is a series of four notes. So a major scale is consists of two tetrachords. And so when we talk about the lower tetrachord of a scale, it's scale degrees one to four, and the upper tetrachord is scale degrees five to eight. So that's what the word tetrachord means. All right. So when will this be due? We'll make this due on Saturday, March 28th by 3 p.m. On Blackboard, I will attach this assignment as a PDF just in case you don't have your workbook with you. Or you can use your workbook. Once you have it finished, the easiest way to get it back to me is probably take a photo of it with your phone. I think all of you do have phones, so you can just take a photo of each page, page 269, 270, and email that back to me. If you have any questions, please let me know, and uh, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching.